All right, everyone, welcome to another one here on the Mateo Franco DC channel. I'm Dr. Mateo. In this video, we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises. So in the last video, we talked about opening up the hips using the piriformis push-up. This is called a seated good morning. It's really gonna work the AD ductors and opening up those hips. It's a strengthening and stretching exercise. It's one of the best feeling ones if done correctly, in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways to do it. We can do it obviously on the dumbbell bench, which would be the ideal place, but you can do this on things that you have at home, like a chair. And then stay tuned for a bonus at the end. I'm gonna show you uh, the stretch that you compare with it and how I do that in actual flow. So seated good morning. What we're gonna do is our goal for this one. is we're gonna sit like this. We're gonna, I'll bring you over this way a little bit, is scoop the tailbone under. We want the, the spine to be stuck. We really wanna feel the motion, my squeaky shoes here, on the, on the actual hip bones or in your AD ductors, which is the inside of your thigh here. So once we get in that position, then we're gonna keep a flat back when we do this, keeping these legs locked here. And I always pretend I have weights. You can do this weighted eventually. And you come down and then you'll hold for three seconds, come back up and we'll do 15 reps of those, two sets, Take it, make it more challenging on a bench. What I like about this is this is here to support you is then you can actually advance this um, always start without weights in the beginning. I always do body weight first. And then for me, I add weights over time. And again, you should be consulting with your doctor or physician or personal trainer before you do this. We base ours off of motion x-ray studies. But then I can add weights because it helps me get down. We gotta be careful with that because we don't wanna jump too quickly because if we force our body past a normal range, that's not good either. And then we'll get down here. And it feels so good. It stretches out the inner thighs. You can feel it in different areas based on your pelvis. Some people feel it in their back around the SI joint, but that's the goal of that. And so I'll show you how to do it over here on the chair too. And I'm gonna show you that bonus part of how you pair that with a stretch, which is my personal favorite. So all you need is a spot where you can, again, scoop that tailbone under, lock the sacrum, which is the bone that your hips glue to, like so. And then we get these wide. And then we're gonna have a flat back as we come down. And I always try to get my hands as close as I can to the floor. Hold for three seconds, come back up. And again, three to five seconds, you can see this for all of ours is it's always 15 reps, three to five second hold typically at the bottom, two sets of those. So if you want a nice flow, I'm gonna show you this. This is just a bonus. So what I do is I will do the piriformis push-up. So I'll do each leg, I'll do 15 of these reps. Again, if you guys wanna watch the form on this, go to the other video on the Pureforms push-up. We'll do this, I'll do 15 reps, three to five second hold. I'll switch sides, do my right side, and then in between that set, I'll do a seat of good morning because it's all working that same joint, that's stretching it. Then I'll do these and I get a better range of motion. I feel I get more out of them. So if you wanna advance it, that would be my advice. Then I do three to five second hold at the bottom of that. 15 reps, and then I do that all one more time. And so that's a nice little circuit if you really wanna work on your hips and advance that quicker. But again, it's not about setting world records, it's about what we do consistently over time. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. But also, I'll uh, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, make sure you don't miss a video, and then I will see you on the next video.